video is sponsored by me, Shelby Frick, with Fairy Tale Concierge. We are working hard for you to save you time, headaches, and money. I can create a package for any Disney vacation that you would like to plan. Family trips, adult-only trips, business outings. If you have young children, if you have older children, you name it, I can plan it and make it magical for you. I am a Disney expert. I know all about the resorts, the dining plans, the My Disney Experience, dining reservations, fast passes, the parks, characters, the cruise ships, the staterooms, and itineraries, and so much more. My service is free of charge when you book with me. What does this mean? Well, my services include dining reservations, fast pass reservations, itineraries. I personalize itineraries for your vacation to save you time that you are not wasting in line. That way you can enjoy the parks and your vacation. I will continuously monitor, monitor for discounts. I have advice. I can do recommendations. I am here to answer all of your questions, and I will wait on hold for you with Disney. If you've ever done it, you know it can be a daunting process. I am here to do it for you. I am committed to providing you a magical vacation that will help you create a memory that will last a lifetime. Hi everybody, it is Shelby, WW11 Mama. This week's video is about the wish. The wish is going to be Disney's newest ship on the Disney Cruise Line. It debuts in summer 2022. I have some information about it, about dining and entertainment and the pools and splash areas. There are a ton of pools and splash areas and the rooms as well. So stay tuned for that. Disney's, Disney Cruise Line's newest ship, The Wish, will have its maiden voyage on June 9, 2022, leaving Port Canaveral. The Wish is going to be larger than the previous four Disney ships, but still have the same guest capacity. So it's going to be larger than the Fantasy and the Dream, but still have the same guest capacity. So which is, that's lovely, much more room for the guests. So beginning on June 17, 2022, from Port Canaveral will be the standard sailings. And they are going to be three to four nights with stops in the Bahamas and Castaway Key, which is Disney Cruise Line's private island. Dates are currently available to book, or no, they will be, I'm sorry. Bookings open May 17th. Then dates will be available from June to September 2022 to book. A deposit is roughly 20% with the tax. So keep that in mind. All right. So the ship itself, when you enter the ship, you're going to be entering the Grand Hall. And this is the heart of the ship. There will be character meet and greets. There will be entertainment. There's a statue of Cinderella. And it is in its name. It is a Grand Hall. From the chandelier to the staircase, the colors, the themes are absolutely gorgeous. Disney really went above and beyond on this new ship. It is just fantastic. The staterooms. For the staterooms, there are basically six different levels, kinds of staterooms. You have your standard inside. Then you will have your deluxe, deluxe ocean view, which will have a giant portal. Then you have your deluxe family ocean view. Then you have your deluxe ocean view with a veranda, your deluxe family ocean view with the veranda, and then finally your concierge rooms, which also includes the suites. There are going to be four suites on this ship. Two will be one level, and two will be two levels. So we'll have a, those two will have a staircase inside, and you have upstairs and a downstairs with your suite. There are more verandas on this ship, plenty of storage, including under the beds. They're elevated up for storage space to put those put your, those suitcases and luggage. There will be large closets and connecting staterooms for the bigger parties. Concierge will have a full bar 
a kid's area, and food throughout the day. They will also, for concierge, have a special area where they can see, they will have these fantastic, they're calling them forward-facing views of everything, of the ocean of everything. So that is for concierge. There will be two, the two-story royal suites are themed after Sleeping Beauty. So the one is themed after when Sleeping Beauty lived in the castle, and the other is themed after when Sleeping Beauty is Briar Rose and living in the woods with the fairies. Both are just stunning. Um, so the concierge Ocean View family stateroom, this is a one-of-a-kind room as well. This is Little Mermaid themed. Now, it does not have a veranda. Instead of the veranda, what Disney did was they're going to have a larger living room area, living area, and they've extended it out to take over that area of the veranda with giant floor to ceiling windows. So you can see out into the ocean, but not have the veranda in itself. So first ever for a Disney Cruise Line is going to be the Funnel Suite. And this 1,966 square foot penthouse in the sky is going to be the most unique accommodation yet. It is going to be it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. They're saying it's going to be a peaceful retreat designed with ample room for families, plenty of storage of scale amenities. We'll see the sound wise. Hopefully they um, made it a little you know soundproof because I have a feeling it's going to be loud. But you never know. They could have totally upgraded it. The Wish Tower Suite will sleep up to eight guests with two main bedrooms, a children's room, a library that converts to a bedroom, and four and a half bathrooms. The magnificent living room will have an be, oops, will be flanked by an open dining area and a bar, and we'll, all of it will have extraordinary views across all the upper decks all around. And what's more is that the theme will be Moana. So that's pretty cool. Dining. Now, dining on Disney ships, if you do not know, what happens is you will have on your, you get a card, and it's your room key and everything, and um, usually put it in the lanyard to carry around with you on the ship or off the ship. And it will have on it your dining rotation. And at Disney World, your dining rotation or I'm sorry, Disney World, on Disney Cruise Line, your dining rotation is the two or three main restaurants, usually three, and then you rotate throughout your cruise. So you could visit, you will visit all three, and then if it's a four-night sailing, you will visit another one again, but it will not be the same as it was when you visited the first time. They usually change it up. So for Disney Cruise, for The Wish, you have Arendelle, a frozen dining adventure. This is also musical. This will also be entertainment while you dine. There will be music performances by Elsa and Olaf. And you are celebrating Kristoff and Princess Anna's engagement. So that is super duper exciting. Then this one, this one is amazing. Worlds of Marvel, where you will have fun with the Avengers. Not sure if they're going to be there or not. Disney did not say. Fingers crossed. But you will enjoy cuisine from around the world. And then the third one is 1923. And 1923 is the year the Walt Disney Studios was founded. And this will have unique flavors from California. And it does look a little bit more upscale, but I guarantee it will be definitely family friendly. The experiences on The Wish. Okay, first up, I'm going to talk about this one. This one is incredible. It's called The Aquamouse. And it is going to be an animated adventure water coaster that you then splash down into a lazy river. It is based off of the new animation that they did in Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, as well as the shorts you may see on the Disney Channel. This one is its own unique short. And it's going to be called Scuba Scramble. And you ride your wa water coaster throughout, and there will be screens and animation, and it's supposed to be a one-of-a-kind experience that is never before seen on a cruise ship. The Wish is going to have 10 pools and water features. 10 pools and water features. This is insane. There's going to be three different pool depths, half a foot, two and a half feet, and four and a half 
feet. And there'll be four decks with pools and water features. And one of the water features is called the Toy Story Splash Zone. So that is great for the littles and so, so exciting. I want to go there. Why do they always incorporate this stuff towards the little kids? I don't understand it. I want to do the Toy Story Splash Zone. All right. As every Disney ship, you have the Walt Disney Theater. And there will be nightly shows throughout. Broadway caliber nightly shows. These shows are just amazing between, you know, the stars and the, oh, background, what's it called? You know, everything is just fantastic of these shows. The main show is going to be Aladdin. So that is super duper exciting. And they said more shows will be announced later because they constantly do one every night. So that is just, I mean, it's just incredible. Also, they're going to have two cinemas, two movie theaters on this ship. I was on the Magic. We had one. This is going to have two. One is going to be themed after Alice in Wonderland, and it's called Wonderland. And the other one is themed after Peter Pan, and it's called Neverland. And they will have first showings of Disney films. There will also be the Hero Zone. Now, this one has me excited, and they did not release pictures of this, which makes me a little upset. So the Hero Zone is a two-deck tall, multi-purpose venue. They're saying it's going to be action-packed physical challenges meet game show competition. I'm going to date myself, and I picture kind of Double Dairy, right? Like Double Dairy, like, and there was another one, too, where you climbed all around, and you had to climb up ropes, and I forget what it was called, but I remember that one as well. It's going to be a sports court, playground, and more. So the Hero Zone is apparently the place to be besides the 10 pools and water features. The another thing they're going to have on this ship is Luna. And this is inspired after La Luna, the Pixar short. And this is, they're saying, it's going to be family fun by day, elegant entertainment at night. And it's going to be home to musical performances and comedy acts, family game shows, and more. Now, with the Disney ship, of course, there's going to be kids clubs. And on the kids club, you have the Oceaneer Club. This is ages 3 to 12. Kids have to be potty trained. So the littles have to be potty trained. I know three, you're like, of course they're potty trained. I'm going to out one of mine. She wasn't potty trained until she was a little over four. Stubborn little girl, but there you go. She just refused. And then the other one was done by two and a half. But anyway, I digress. So the Ocean Air Club is for ages three to 12. It will have Mickey and Friends area. There will be the Marvel Superhero Academy. And they're going to have a Princess Fairy Tale Hall. Plus, there's going to be an Imagineering Lab where kids can create their own roller coaster and then ride it in the little, I'm sure you've seen them, the little contraption thingy that they sit in and then they ride and experience their roller coaster. So cool. And I do know, I'm going off of pre-COVID things, characters do come in. So Marvel Superhero Academy, you will see, you know, Captain America and Black Panther and all those characters. And Fairy Tale Hall will have Rapunzel and, you know, different princesses, obviously. They do vary. And they will come in for meet and greets for the kids. It's so cool. Then there is The Edge, ages 11 to 14. And this is like a New York-inspired cool place to be for the kids. They can meet up there. They can do scavenger hunts. They can, you know, hang out and play video games. Then the next level up is The Vibe, and that is ages 14 to 17. And this one is going to be themed after a Parisian loft. So super, super cool for the teenagers. All right, Adult Escapes. You have, and this is amazing, Sue Star Wars Hyperspace Lounge. So cool. So it's kind of themed after the lounge in Solo Story. And it has on the back like a big window, but it's not really a window. It's a screen and it is going to take you across the galaxy to many, many different areas. So it is designed after the luxurious yacht class spaceship. It's kind of like the Dryden Voss one as seen in the solo Star Wars story, like I said. There's the window just behind the bar will treat guests to scenes from Tatooine, Batu, Mustafar, and... Coruscant as well. So super, super cool. There's going to be surround audio and a hollow tube, that's in quotes, that will feature holographic replications of ships that happen to be nearby. There will also be, for the adults, signature Star Wars themed cocktails. 
So what do I mean by that? So during the day, it's a family area. So kids can go there during the day as well with their adults. Then at night is an adult only in the evenings. And there you go. There's your Star Wars themed cocktails. As always, on each ship, you have the Quiet Cove, which is a pool bar and lounge area. There's going to be the Rose on this one, which is an adult lounge. And when you walk through the Rose, the adult lounge, Beauty and the Beast themed, of course, you're going to go to Enchante. Enchante requires an additional fee, and it'll be French cuisine. And then there's adult only as well. The other adult only restaurant that requires an additional fee is Paolo. Now, Paolo on this one is going to be a steakhouse. So I just, I'm really, really, really excited about this ship. It just, it's, that, it's going to be incredible. So those are amazing adult escapes. Now, can you cruise without kids? Of course you can. I've had many clients that cruise without kids. It is, like I said, there are lots of adult things to do on these ships. Can you cruise with kids? Absolutely. This, to me, is the perfect, Disney Cruise Line is the perfect with kids. I will say that. I felt 100% at ease that my kids could run around the ship and, you know, go to the pool and go get food and everything. So everything I mentioned except for the adult-only restaurants, Palo Steakhouse, and Enchante, is all included with your cruise. Obviously, like the alcoholic drinks at Star Wars Hyperspace Lounge and any alcoholic drinks you have to purchase, but the meals are included. The kids clubs included. The entertainment's included. The movies are included. Everything is included. It is absolutely incredible. If you are interested in going, please let me know. Like I said, bookings open up on May 17th, and I, you're, they did it differently. I mumbled on that one because they did it differently with this one because this is going to be a huge hit. So what they did was they took the Platinum Castaway Key members and broke them up into how many cruises they have taken. And the ones who have taken the most, there's, there's three different sections. They get to book first, and then second tier, and then the third tier. Then it's opened up to the gold castaway key, then the silver castaway key, and then the public. So if you are interested, please let me know, and I will get you on a list. Like I said, deposit is roughly 20%, so you have to keep it in mind. But what I like to do is I like to make sure that my clients know the total and the deposit amount before anything goes down. I know some people, they just... If you were comfortable with it, if you're just like, book it, we're, we're going, book it, that's fine too. Um, but I always double, triple check all the numbers with my clients because I don't want them to be surprised. I hope you liked this video. If you did, if you could please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, that would be fantastic. And what do you think? Are you excited to get on The Wish? I know I am. And I am just in love with this ship. I love every thing about it and I cannot wait to set sail on the Disney Wish. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.